Hey everyone, it's the Viperion here and welcome back to another Crash Team Racing video. But before we begin, I would like to provide a little bit of transparency to you guys about what's been happening lately. So these few weeks has been an extremely busy week for me because not only am I quarantined at home right now, but I have been working almost 24-7 every day trying to keep my real life job, including Saturday and Sundays. So it's been really hard for me to put out a consistent amount of videos per week, but don't worry because you're still going to be getting 2-3 to three videos weekly from my channel as always but i'll try to squeeze in more as i can and this actually leads to another big news um just take it as a grain of salt for now but i'm actually planning to quit my real life job and chase youtube as a full-time career now i do love my job but at the same time i love providing entertainment on youtube as well and honestly it's much more fun for me to be on youtube i actually have a lot of plans for my channel which includes funny moment videos more interesting guides more crash content skits and all those fun stuff so yeah i just want to let you guys know that there are actually big plans coming to this channel just want to get this out there because you guys are my community you deserve to know this from me and i enjoy that you guys are with me even during these tough times and i just want every one of you guys to have a really fun experience on the channel so yeah this decision of quitting my job might take a few weeks or even months and hey it might not even happen but as i said take it as a grain of salt i'll update to you guys once again once the final decision has been made but enough of all this stuff as for today's video it is dragon mind's turn to receive a guide on how to defeat the developer time trials on so for dragon minds here are a few things you need to take note of first so firstly, you can use speed if you want to but just know that I'm actually using drift as an example here and the reason for this is actually tied to the second point which is the minecart shortcut. Now the minecart shortcut is actually the only key you need to nail it off in order to win the death times. Hence this video will be focusing heavily on the shortcut itself. Thirdly, while the minecart is actually the important part, I will still be providing you some tips on what you can do on other parts of the track as well. And finally, because you want to take the mine shortcut, the timing of the cart is actually very important. So I haven't actually done this myself but you might want to select skip intro in the option menu so that the mine cart timing will always be in your favor when you try taking the shortcut. Again, I didn't do this myself but you can actually just try this out if you are having trouble with the mine cart timing. And so with that out of the way, let's hop onto the track and begin the tutorial. So starting off, obviously you would want to do a perfect boost. After that, immediately do a mixture of drift and jumping here. This will ensure a good start to the race, especially if you can land a boost after you've jumped here. If you are not getting the boost, you probably didn't drift boost enough at the start. And from here onwards, just hug as close as possible as you can to the walls and get as many perfect boosts as you can while maintaining your reserves. And once you actually reach to this point, this is where the real challenge begins. I've already done a shortcut guide on this so you can click here for a more detailed guide. But to keep things short, this is how you can take the shortcut. Do note again that this is done with drift. Start by drifting to the left side here, drift boost around 2 or 3 times and then immediately drift to the right side while doing a single boost. At the same time, you might want to U-turn a little bit to the right side for a slight adjustment. After that, just keep on jumping to maintain your speed. And when your speed is high enough, jump out from here. This will actually propel your cart high enough if done right, allowing you to jump high enough to pass the shortcut. And after that, just grab the turbo pad here and cut the corner before the finish line. Repeat the steps for the rest of the laps, just maintain your sacred fire and you're actually good to go. The death times is as good as yours and that's actually pretty much it. I know it's actually really really quick right? but doing the shortcut correctly guys is the main best way to win the death times. So make sure to watch my tutorial on how to take the shortcut as easy and as efficient as possible if you're still having trouble with the shortcut. So for the next death times guy, it will be on Blizzard Bluff and in my last video I actually mentioned that I won't be doing more death times guy anymore unless it is requested by you guys because I've actually done most of the hard tracks already. However, I will be doing hyperspace way as well because it is requested by David Chow in the comment section on my last video. So thank you very much David for the suggestion. I will definitely do a hyperspace way death times guide after Blizzard Bluff. So yeah, if you want more death times guide or if you have more video ideas that you would like me to do, please share it down in the comment section below so I can shout you out and also give you a credit for it. So that's it for the Dragon Mines guide and here is the full gameplay of me using the shortcut with the method that I've just taught you. Until then, this is the Viper signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next guide and enjoy the gameplay.